Hey, what's up YouTube gangsters? Uh, today I am going to show you how to um, add some sick transitions using the handy seamless transi transition pack uh, for your Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 or Adobe After Effects projects. Um, I'm going to show you real quick a uh, preview of all the transitions and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, was your mind blown? Because mine was, and I've already seen it. Those are pretty sick. Um, okay, so basically, I'm going to show you. We're going to start off in Premiere. Um, you can't, you don't actually add the uh, transitions in Premiere. Uh, but what you'll do is, you'll see I have my two clips here in my project, and this is where I'm going to want to add my transition between these two clips. So what you want to do is you highlight them both right click and then you're going to want to go up here to where it says replace with After Effects composition and you click that and what it's going to do is it's going to open up uh, After Effects composition with these two clips in it. Um, once that's all opened up I'll be right back with you and then I'll show you how to add the effects. Okay we're back. Um, as you can see what that did was it pulled over my two clips into After Effects and what we'll do is when you use that function when you put the transition in After Effects it automatically will pull it over and update into your Premiere Pro project that you're working on so it's pretty nice um, so basically what you want to do is when you have your two clips here in After Effects you want to take your um, marker and you're gonna put it right between the two clips because that's where you're gonna want to put your transition and when the when the pack is installed, um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. This is just kind of a, a review of it and um, my opinion of it and to show you how it works in After Effects. So um, I think there's tutorials on the actual website of how to install it. It's pretty easy. You just install it and then you've got to plug in some uh, purchase ID or something like that, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, so what you want to do is you'll have this up here. It says Handy Seamless Transitions. And as you put your cursor over each of the functions, it gives you a little preview of the transitions. And you can go down into the transitions for the variations of each transition. So say, say I wanted to do the box, you'd hit the little drop down. And then they have a box bounce and a box ease. So if I wanted to do the box bounce, I hit the drop down again. And then if I wanted it to drop to the bottom, you just select that. Once you select that, you go up here to where it says Add Replace, and you click on Add Replace. And basically what it did, uh, I'm not sure why it did that. It added a, uh, a transition at the beginning of my clip too. Most of the time it adds it right here between, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Oops. Okay, so what it did here, you see it added the transition between the two clips. 
Um, what you need to do is I'll go ahead and play this, let it render through. And um, once it renders, it'll play at full speed. And then I'll let you watch it. And that's pretty much it. Now, that took about less than 30 seconds to add that transition. Um, if you want to make any sort of adjustments, like the speed was too fast on the transition, or you want to adjust the keyframes on it, you go over here, and it basically adds a new layer for that transition, as you can see right here on my timeline. So make sure that layer is highlighted. And then you can go up here to where it has this little clock, and you click on that, and you can adjust the speed. Why is it doing that? Um, and so if you wanted to adjust the speed, wow, that's really driving me nuts. Anyway, let's go back up here and try this again. Okay. Um, so say you wanted to make it go faster. Right now it's showing the rate 100%. You'd increase it to like 50% if you wanted to go, or 50 if you wanted to go twice as fast, or 150 if you wanted to go half as fast, if that makes sense. You also have this option here for the keyframes. If you click that, it'll pull up your keyframes, and you can adjust your speed by adjusting your keyframes down here on the timeline. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. It's pretty easy, it's pretty slick. The transitions are all pretty pretty slick. Um, my, it's my overall opinion of this and the value. I would say, I think it cost around like $40 for the pack is what I paid for it. And it's definitely worth it as far as value goes. And I was trying to think of how to describe this. One of these transitions, if you're really good, a good editor in After Effects, I'm guessing you can build these transitions, like one of them in a, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, I'm not sure. We'll give them benefit of doubt and say five minutes. So within an hour, you could build 12 of these transitions. So like if you attach an hourly rate to what you think your time is worth an hour when you're working on your editing projects, say it's between 20 or 30 bucks an hour. You know, I don't know what you value your time at. But the pack comes with 490 transitions. So to build 490 of these transitions, if you're getting 12 of them an hour, it's going to take you close, it's going to take you a long time. So value-wise, it's definitely worth it. If you're looking to save time on your projects, 38 bucks is nothing. If you're an amateur editor that wants to look professional, this is worth it um, because it will up your video editing game for sure. I posted a video that I use some of these transitions um, in a Facebook group I belong to, and people were blown away. And I'm not an editor by any means. I am just started learning... Um, Edit, or uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects is a beast. It's I, I can do a few things here and there, but I'm by no means any uh, masterful editor. I'm still learning. I love it. I love editing, but I'm not not that great. So these help me a lot to um, make my videos a lot better. Um, you know, if you're if you're a slick editor and uh, you really know the ins and outs of After Effects, I I still think it's a good purchase because even if you're able to go in there and build these transitions yourself build slapping these presets in is going to just save you so much time so i can't you know unless you're just the the true you know the the soul soulful editor you know after effects editor and I, you can only do things that you built from scratch then it's not for you you know if you're if you're a guy like that and, and want to edit like that and that's fine um then it's probably not for you. Um, as far as the price, 38 bucks, yeah, it's kind of pricey, but if you look at it for the mod transitions, it's not, you know, it's per transition, it's it's pennies. You can stop drinking your Red Bulls or your um, your Frappuccinos from Starbucks for a month and um, pay for it. If you're doing a project and you're getting paid for a project, this, you'll get paid back by purchasing this rather than using all your time to build these transitions for sure. So it's definitely worth it if you're actually getting paid to do a project. Um, and even if you're not, you're doing it as a hobby, you just want to step up your game, it's worth it because little children will come up and ask you for your autograph after they see the videos you've posted to 
Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're posting them. Um, girls will be slipping you their number. You know, it's crazy. You know, the amount of um, notoriety I get nowadays. My they my mayor gave me the key to the town. It's crazy. You know, and that's all because I put these transitions in my video now. That's all I can really say. So. Um, Anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos, I'm going to do, I do videos on Adobe Premiere now. I used to use Vegas, but now I'm using Premiere and After Effects. I think you can do a lot more with these platforms. So uh, you go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, I'll probably review some of the stuff that I end up getting into. Um, I also will, when I learn things, I'll go ahead and uh, put out tutorials as well. Um, I also put a link below where you can get more information on the Handy Seamless Transitions Pack. You can go over there and check it out and, and see what you think of it. So uh, other than that, that's all I got. Peace.